Hey guys, even here, and this video we are starting with Hassan Mustafa and his most recent physique update that he posted on his Instagram and he looks sharper than before. Now as you guys know, he did not manage to win California Pro, to win a pro show in order to qualify for the Mr. Olympia as his original plan was, but he did say he is not quitting until he wins a pro show, until he qualifies for the Mr. Olympia and in this video right here, he does look a little bit sharper than before. Heading to the California Pro, I made this voting poll, I asked you guys what do you think who's gonna place higher and most of you actually had Hassan Mustafa and if you check the comments, I had him as well. I thought he was third at the New York Pro and he beat everybody else except for Nick Walker and Justin Rodriguez and all the other guys were probably more conditioned than him, he was very soft at the New York and still he managed to get the third spot and I thought he had two weeks to improve his conditioning, and I was sure he's gonna do that, why wouldn't he? But apparently he didn't, he may have come even worse than at the New York Pro, and of course that's why he didn't win the show, but he was third, it was still a pretty good result considering how off he was, his stomach was distended, his oral uh, midsection was huge, taking a lot of space, so he was off, he was way off, and Patrick Moore, he's not a big guy, he's much smaller than most of the pros, but he was big enough, he was a little bit bigger and he was really conditioned and that's why he was able to beat Hassan. So Hassan lost his opportunity to qualify for the Mr. Olympia and Patrick Moore is gonna be the one who's gonna be heading towards there, but uh, is there a chance for Patrick, for example, to beat Nick Walker? No way, can Hassan do that though? If he nails the conditioning, yeah. So I do think Hassan is a better bodybuilder than Patrick Moore, but he just keeps coming off, every, every show he's off, so if he eventually nails the conditioning, which is something that Big Ramy did at the Mr. Olympia last year and won the Mr. Olympia, if Hassan does that, he's gonna do well, I'm not saying he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia, but he can beat a lot of guys, a lot of guys with all this mess. He missed two opportunities to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, but there are remaining ones, so he has Puerto Rico Pro, he has Mr. Big Evolution, he has Chicago Pro, Tampa Pro, Texas Pro and Europa Pro. It was supposed to be Toronto Pro too, but the show is moved, so it's gonna be a qualification for 2022 Mr. Olympia, and as you can see Chicago Pro is also moved, and I don't know to when, and um, as far as Europa Pro we don't really know the, the, the city yet, but it's gonna happen somewhere in Spain apparently. So he has some other chances and uh, hopefully he will use, hopefully he will utilize those and actually qualify for the Mr. Olympia and actually nail the conditioning because with all the mass that he has, if he actually does that, he can do really well. Alright, so next we have Darren Clansford and his guest posing routine in his off season right now where he looks absolutely freaking crazy massive, crazy, crazy, I mean this guy has so much mass it's absolutely insane, he's by far the biggest guy in 212. So I don't know how much the other guys are weighing, I know that the current 212 Mr. Olympia champion Sean Clarida does not weigh 212 pounds because he's way shorter, and if he gets posed like this, alone, without anybody to be compared against, he would still look smaller than this, I don't think anybody is as big as, as Derek, and uh, it looks like he went a little bit overboard. I don't know if he can actually make the category if he is this big right now. I mean, I know he's short, but he looks, to me at least, I'm not sure what his weight is, if you guys know, if he let us know, let me down below in the comment section, but he looks 250 at least to me. So does this mean he's making a transfer to the Open? If he isn't, I'm guessing he should. It looks like he needs to struggle really hard to actually make the weight, because here he looks flat. I don't think he should look this flat at a show, I think it's because he needs to cut so much weight down. And still he can't come conditioned, I don't think we ever saw him really conditioned at the Mr. Olympia stage. Just compare his upper pecs and his shoulders to those of Sean Clarida or Kamal Gargni or George Peterson, just not even close. So whatever is the reason for him not being conditioned at the Mr. Olympia in 212, it might be the same reason he's not gonna be conditioned in the Open if he does, if he does the Open, but I would still like to see him over there because it seems like he gained so much mass this offseason. It seems like it would be a waste because I don't know how many Open bodybuilders look this massive in the offseason, seriously. And there are some other very successful 212 guys in the Open, like Hari Chupan, like Flax Lewis is gonna be, probably and uh, William Bonek also used to compete in 212, there are other guys too, so 
his height, it's not really that big of a problem. Look at him here. <laughs> Look at the legs, the thickness uh, of the arms, of the chest. And this inner part of his thigh is just absolutely freaking massive. So I learned that he is now coached by Hanny Rambud. And Hanny knows how to bring conditioning. So hopefully he will fix that with Derek. And I would really like to see him in the open because he has so much muscle right now. And he should put it in a good use. So tell me what do you guys think. Open or 212 for Derek? So as I mentioned, William Bonek as a former 212 competitor. This is him right now in the offseason. Starting his prep for Mr. Olympia actually. And he seems to be getting thicker and bigger with every video, with every photo that he posts recently. Uh, a while ago there were some photos that surfaced of him that he actually posted where he looked significantly downsized, but lately it's not really the case. He looks big again and he's prepping for Mr. Olympia 2021 that he is qualified for because he was in the top 5 but barely. I mean, I'm not saying that the judges considered giving Akim that fifth spot instead of William, but uh, last year he was second, right? I mean, the year before 2020, 2019, he was second at the Mr. Olympia, and now he went down a few spots. Because, yeah, the, the lineup was definitely a much more competitive 2020, but he didn't look as good as he was the year before, especially the way he looked at the 2019 Arnold Classic. That was a look. And now he looked smaller and flatter and not even as conditioned and there are some signs that he's getting older that he's uh, that his physique is on a on a down path and we'll see what's gonna happen this year he took some time off you know it's the first time he did that in a long time he did Arnold Classics for the past couple of years because there was an Arnold Classic in March and this year there wasn't so he took an off season he went off the gear probably and I'm sure he refreshed his body so it's gonna probably respond better uh, for this prep 2020 Mr. Olympia and um, hopefully he will look better this year and maybe jump a few spots up but it's gonna be very hard against the other guys against Big Ramy, Brandon Curry, uh, Hadi Chupan if Phil he shows up again and I don't know Sean Roden it's gonna be tough to crack that uh, high spot again but if he does uh, if he has that fifth spot again this year that's kind of gonna be a success for him but if he's if he keeps deteriorating if he keeps uh, getting worse, it's gonna be not easy for him to crack the top 5 again. Alright, next we have an update of Jake Cutler, and even though he might be long retired, he still didn't give up bodybuilding, and he's saying that he enjoys working out so much, it's still the best part of his day. And here you can see what he looks like right now, and he looks great, I mean, he didn't lose a lot of size, of course, not as big as he once was, but for a retired bodybuilder, for how many? 8 years now? Or something like that. 2013, yeah, was his last Mr. Olympia, so it's been 8 years this year. He looks great. I mean, the biceps are looking pretty huge, and overall he has a lot of size. His arms are big, his chest is showing, his shoulders are not small. So Jay Cutler in 2021 still has a pretty impressive physique. What about The Rock? Is he competing? Is he prepping for a show? Because in this most recent physique update of his, he looks like a freaking bodybuilder, especially the legs. Now, Rock wasn't exactly known for having the best legs. He's really tall. He's like 7 foot or something like that. So, for that height, it's usually very hard to have good legs. But his legs were always decent, but now they look pretty massive. So, one would assume that he's gonna be competing in a bodybuilding show sometime soon. But that is not really the case, he is of course prepping for his role of Black Adam and the filming has actually started as he's saying, but he is training of course to maintain the physique. So he's doing a lot of strength training, of course muscle building training and uh, a lot of uh, cardio, a lot of conditioning kind of training, so he needs to be in good shape and uh, apparently he's probably on a lot of gear because that's what makes a difference. He's always training, you know, year round. But when he needs to prep for a role, he, he starts using something because he starts looking much fuller, much bigger, much harder. And that is the case right now. He does look like somebody who is prepping for a bodybuilding show. So I'm sure he's prepped by a bodybuilding coach. And uh, I'm sure he's going to look absolutely awesome. And it's uh, Black Adam. I can't wait for this movie to watch it and to see what Rock's physique is going to look like. And hopefully it's going to be his best physique up to date. Better than Pain and Gain, I hope. So whatever you guys think about The Rock, could he do a show with his physique and what he's gonna look like at, and in this movie, in this role, 
Tell me what you think down below and tell me what you think about Hassan Mustafa. Is he gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia somehow? Whatever is on your mind, guys, from this video, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.